Future Bin friends. We're back today with a list of things that you should probably consider bringing with you on your next cruise. Yes, some of these items might seem pretty obvious. However, if you stick around to the end, we'll tell you my most important and Kim's most important things to bring on a cruise. Yes, these two things definitely can make or break how much fun we have on our cruise. So don't go anywhere. guys let's go ahead and get started our first item is going to be i guess you could call it your own homemade first aid kit that's right we like to keep some basic things in there like some band-aids some aspirins different kinds tums stuff like that uh, we always have some kind of cold medicine and then for those nights that you drink too much we've got some electrolyte packages for the next morning to help get you going that's right. Just include anything that you think you may need. I mean, even if you don't need it, you have it just in case because you don't want to have to go to medical on board the ship. Um, that could cost you an arm and a leg. And also that goes for the gift shop as well. That's the true. medicines in there are going to be way overpriced. So just think ahead of time and just bring what you think eh, you might need it. That's right. Yes. So moving on from there, let's go ahead to our next item. And that is going to be sunblock. You definitely don't want to get sunburn on your cruise because that could ruin your whole trip. That's right. And then for after the sun, if you get that little bit of burn, have some kind of lotion or some kind of aloe to kind of keep it rubbed in and, and kind of help with that burn. Yeah, that will really, really help. So make sure you put some kind of lotion or aloe in your bag. And so the next item, we'll just move right along to help protect yourself for the sun as well is going to be, you know, a hat or and sunglasses. So make sure you pack some kind of sunglasses, some kind of hat for just in case to help protect you from the sun. Yes, it really does help. We love our hats. He loves his hats. <laughs> All right. The, uh, the next item we always have to bring is uh, for some reason on our cruises, it always rains. <laughs> so make sure you have some kind of poncho. These are a little bit better quality. These are the dollar store ones. We use these all the time. They work okay. I mean, it's going to be basic to keep you from the rain, but... Right. They're super cheap. Get them at the dollar store. Get them at Walmart. It's pretty much you use it once and you're probably going to throw it away anyway. So just throw some ponchos in your bag because, I mean, on our last cruise, Carnival was selling ponchos, but... At $15 a poncho, I mean, that that's a lot, especially if you're at, with your whole family. So save yourself some money and just throw some cheap ponchos in your suitcase. That's right. Okay, so moving right along, let's go into our next item. And that is going to be a lanyard for your sale and sign card. I got this really cool one off the Mardi Gras. I think it's really, really pretty. Uh, but you can find them anywhere. Um, Walmart, practically any store nowadays, you can find some lanyards. Wish.com. Wish.com. But but anyway, the ones on the ships, they're not really that expensive. This one wasn't that expensive, I didn't think. But if you want to save a little bit of money, you can get them before you get on the ship. Um, if you're on Carnival, they will po poke a hole in your card, and you just kind of clip it on the end of your lanyard. But if you're on another ship, maybe Royal Caribbean, um, they're not going to punch a hole for you. You're going to have to need, uh, use one of these sleeves on the end of your lanyard so you can just stick your card in that sleeve. Um, That's right. I was really against the lanyards yeah. when we first started cruising. I thought they were dorky <laughs> until I lost my sail inside card. Yeah. And uh, then I, 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 I'm i on board now. That's right. So that way you're, you're probably 99% sure that you're not going to lose it if you have it attached to your lanyard. <laughs> so don't think it's too dorky for you and you're just going to stick it in your pocket like him <laughs> because his fell out and we didn't know where it went so he had to go to customer service and get a brand new one so okay um next item is going to be a waterproof phone case that's right this is possibly one of your most valuable assets it's a lot of money most of the excursions all seem to revolve around water yeah. so it just Spend a few dollars, get one of these waterproof cases, even if you're not getting directly in the water. They're great. They just protect your phone, a little extra protection. All your pictures, all your documents are already in here and everything. You want to keep everything safe. 
Yeah, and there's actually enough room inside one of these little pouches. You can stick some cash money in there, a credit card, your ID, um, even your sale and sign card, because um, you'll have to use that to get on and off the ship. So um, whatever you need, you can actually fit it inside this little pouch along with your phone. So it's really, really handy. That's right. Okay, so next item, moving along, right, kind of sticking with the cell phone, is bring a little extra battery. Especially on your excursions, you would hate to run out of battery and miss those pictures that, you know, those lifelong memories you're going to have. So, Definitely. So a little extra battery will uh, will get, take you a long way. Right, and don't forget the, the charging cable. You'll need that. <laughs> so bring your cable, bring your battery. So in case your phone starts to die because you've just been taking loads and loads of pictures, um, you have that extra battery power just in case. That's so right. So it comes in really handy. Okay, also on excursions, you might not think of this, but you're going to need some closed-toed shoes for a lot of them. Um, so pack your tennis shoes because a lot of the excursions require it, like ATVs or, you know, zip lining. Uh, they have horseback riding. Like, they have so many different excursions that you're going to need some tennis shoes. So pack those along with everything else because you, you're probably going to need it. Um, and not only for the excursions, but for stuff on the ship. Like yeah, the right. uh, Like the Bolt roller coaster on the Mardi Gras requ requires the uh, closed-toed shoes. Yeah, we had to have our tennis shoes when we got on the Bolt roller coaster. We did the ropes course on the Mardi Gras. You have to have closed-toed shoes for that, too. Um, some ships have the zip lining. I had to have closed-toed shoes for that. Yep. Um, there's rock climbing on some ships, so you you really do need some tennis shoes for a lot of the the activities on the ship. So go ahead and you know don't just rely on your flip flops because you're on vacation. <laughs> Make sure you pack your tennis shoes because you're probably going to need it for something. Yep. So yeah. Um, okay, the next item we'll go into one of his favorites is the cooling towel. That's right. I don't <laughs> know if I could live without this sucker. Uh, we always tend to uh, go in the Caribbean where it's 900 degrees, even in February. So you just wet this guy down. It keeps you cool. It, yeah. It's pretty, pretty nice. Yeah. Um, you just wet it down, wring it out, put it around your neck or anything. It keeps you nice and cool. Um, I've even tried it out. I like it sometimes. That's right. We even brought this with us on our, uh, on our Disney trip. Um, my daughter loved it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, she was dying in the heat. She's really not used to that Florida heat anymore. So, yeah, she kind of stole it from us. Whatever keeps them happy and comfortable, you know, we just give it to them. <laughs> Who cares if we're comfortable, but <laughs> as long right. as we keep them happy, we're good to go. So, yeah, you might, if you have never used a cooling towel, give it a try. You might like it, too. All right. So, next thing you're going to need to bring oh, yeah. is a tote bag. Yeah, you're gonna need some kind of tote bag or even just like a small backpack. Um, this one is pretty neat. It's pretty water resistant and it can fold up into a little pouch so it's nice and easy to pack in your suitcase. Um, but you need something to carry your towels, your sunblock, um, anything that you might wanna bring out with you on the Lido deck or on our, your excursion. Uh, they come in really handy just to keep everything together in one place. That's right. So you'll need just any kind of bag will do really. Okay. All right. Next item, and it's one of my most important, is a little sound machine. We used to use our phones a lot for most of it, but now we've got this little sound machine we're anxious to try. It's actually got a built-in nightlight. I don't know. You, I'm sure you've been in hotel rooms. Well, cruises are even worse with the slamming doors. Uh, <laughs> this helps drown out a lot of that noise. Yeah, we're excited to give this one a try with that bonus nightlight built in. That's a really cool feature um, because at home we use a sound machine as well. We just have a, you know, built into our alarm clock sitting on our nightstand. Um, so this way we don't have to rely on our phone apps all the time. We're going to try out this little device and see how it works. And we'll let you know. We're excited to try it. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Next thing is magnetic hooks. Uh, we saw somebody mention these before, and we were always really skeptical. Why would we need something like that? <laughs> Let me tell you, these little things are awesome. They are. They're really good for hanging up your lanyards, your bathing suits, even your mask. If you don't know, the inside walls and even the ceilings most of the time are metal, so they're magnetic. And some people even like these little magnetic clips where you can clip up like your papers, um, say maybe your excursions they give you little tickets for your excursion hang them up so you don't lose them um just anything i mean really we hang we hung up like so many things your hats 
everything. They, they're really, really handy. That's right. Okay, so next we will talk about night lights. It can be very, very dark in your cabin. At night, it is pitch black. Even if you have a balcony room, like even if, like if you have the curtains shut, it can be really, really, really dark. So it's really hard to see your way to the bathroom at night. So we like to bring like these little, little night lights. Um, we got these at the dollar store. They're basically like a little tea light um, ran by battery. But we have a tendency to forget to turn them off. So <laughs> by the end of the cruise, they're, they're dead, so. <laughs> That's right. Well, we were just turned on to something else by uh, another cruise uh, vlog. Sherry from Cruise Ships TV turned us on to this. We saw her video. And we're excited to try this. It's magnetic, sticks to the wall, sticks right on there. So it would... Uh, it kind of acts like a motion sensor. Um, you can set it on on, you can set it on auto. So it, it will pick up your motion and turn on, you know, if you have to get up in the middle of the night to use the bathroom. So we're excited to give this a try. We can't wait to use it. <laughs> okay, so, um, okay, the next thing we have is a power strip or an extension cord. That's right. This is, all this is, is just an extra power strip. No surge protector. They will take that from you when you get on. So uh, it's this one's got just a couple different plugs. It's got more USB ports. You'll find on the newer ships that there are more USB plugs and stuff like that. But I don't know. We've got so many electronics. We yeah. just never seem to have enough. Especially if you have a large family. Everybody has a phone. Everybody's, you know, might have their tablet. So... You might need a couple more USB ports. Comes in really handy to bring an extra strip like that. So, but just like he said, make sure it doesn't have a surge protector built in because they will confiscate it from you. That's You're not right. allowed to have that. Okay, so that brings us to our last two items. Now, my last item is my most essential item that I need to bring on a cruise. And if you've ever watched any of our other videos, then you know I am very prone to seasickness. So. My number one item is seasickness medicine. It can be anything from the patch. Um, these are, are off Amazon. They worked really well for me. Um, Dramamine, Bonine, whatever you prefer. Um, they all do the same thing. But if I don't have this, then it's gonna be a pretty miserable time for everybody on the cruise because you never know like even if you're not prone to seasickness i would bring it just in case because sometimes the seas can get pretty rough um you just never know so it's better to have it and not need it than need it and not have it so i would just stick some of these in your bag just in case all right now we're to my number one most essential item and let me tell you it is anti-chafing stuff <laughs> all right if i do not have this we are going to have a miserable time. Bad. I get the Bernie's bad. <laughs> so whether it's the ointment or the little speed stick kind of things, I got to have something. Now I will point out that Kim has recently turned me on and got me some Duluth underwear, not a sponsor, uh, underwear. They're extra long. They've uh, worked really well at stopping the Bernie's. It's been, it's been pretty awesome. Yes, I'm so glad I found those for you. Um, anything to keep you comfortable. That's, That's right. what we like to do. So um, there you go. Um, we will try to put down in the description some of the links to some of these items that we've bought offline. So that way, if you want to check them out, they'll be there nice and handy. Just click the link and it'll take you right to them. So there you have it, folks. I know that was a lot for you to consider, and I'm sure there are many more items we could include on this list. But we just wanted to hit on some of the things that we thought were most important. That's right. If you have something that you like to bring on your cruise, let us know in the comment section below. We know there are many unique and different things that other cruisers like to bring. Yes, we would love to hear from you guys. So thank you so much for watching. We hope you enjoyed this video. And please don't forget to like and subscribe down below so we can continue to share our experiences with you. That's right. Until next time. Have fun and be safe. Bye. Bye. <laughs>